So you're in the market for a new engine, you either need it for your project car or your daily driver. There's a couple places you can go. Facebook Marketplace, eBay, OfferUp, maybe someone you know, maybe go to a shop. I'm gonna show you a new place that's huge that a lot of people get their parts through, including a lot of businesses they sell to you. You can go straight to them, call them on the phone, talk to their team, see if they have what you need in inventory, and you can schedule it to pick it up, pay for it, and you're on your way. This place is massive. They have parts that are just laying around that give me way too many bad financial ideas. This company is called LKQ. They have a facility here in Phoenix that we get a tour of, as well as one in Casa Grande, about an hour outside of Phoenix where they have an actual junkyard where they're allowed to with city limits. They have an entire facility out there to dismantle all the cars. They have an entire system and huge team to tag everything, label it, inventory, stack it on shelves. Like there's rows of engines and transmissions. Like <laughs> it's like Disneyland, right? You'll see at the end of this video what motor we picked out for our 240SX build that we're gonna be building on. So let's go on a tour of this place so you can learn everything about it and now you know exactly where to go get your new engine for your project car or your daily driver. Here is LKQ. This is LKQ in Phoenix. This is open to the public. It's 100% oriented for customer service for the public. Where we go to after this is not. So keep that in mind. Let's check out the inside and get a tour through. This is the public entrance right here. So when you call them, these are the people who answer the phone, check on parts, see if you have anything, check you out when you get there. And then Jason is walking us in the back to check out the wholesale side of things. These are people taking calls from automotive shops and such like that to get orders in. This is the dispatch area where they handle everything ongoing in and out as far as shipments with the trucks you're gonna see here in a second. But this is the entrance to the warehouse. Tons of stuff everywhere, it's huge. Forklifts to get in everywhere you need, lift people up, they're strapped in, they can scan barcodes, they have inventory dialed, all the guys checking things in and out, getting things ready to go out. Look at how many bumpers are just lined up right here. And this is just for the Phoenix area, wait till you see the Casa Grande area. Next we have a rear part of a car completely cut out to be sent off somewhere to a body shop I would assume so that they can put this back of a car onto another one and fix it from a collision. We have wheels on wheels doors, windows, engines ready to go out. Trucks getting loaded. Yes, that is all transmissions, just in the Phoenix area. One warehouse of many warehouses, engines for days. Everything is super organized, well put together. The logistics and strategy to make sure they don't lose things, everything's in place, crazy. There's some sickens paint, pads out, this right? whole oh, yeah. row right here, just paint stuff. Scotch bright pads by the package. This is a paint room where they can mix some paint for you. All the colors, and when you walk out back, this is where the trucks are loaded. We're gonna hop into a truck with Jason, who's our chauffeur today. We're gonna go to Casa Grande, head across the Phoenix Desert, and go see their facility over there where there's an actual junkyard. This is a production facility. It is not open to the public in Casa Grande, but it does allow them to have room to expand as they have 150 acres of property out here. That would not be possible in Phoenix. We'll get back to this area right here, but that's where they dismantle cars. And then right here you walk in, engines and lots of them. Oh, holy engine. Love engine. Swaps on swaps on swaps on swaps, giving me bad ideas. Take my money. Look at this forklift right here. It can move around all sorts of ways. This is the loading area for the Casa Grande facility where engines are being put together, 
wrapped up getting ready to be shipped out on trucks then we have a whole side over here where there's some team members packaging things getting all the parts off the cars and putting them in a box getting them ready to be added to inventory and getting ready to be shipped things get washed in here as soon as they get pulled out that way they can package everything with it being as clean as possible because sometimes stuff sits outside for a while you're going to see here in a second we're heading out on a little golf cart tour for the junkyard I don't want to end up behind a vehicle moving in the yard for the dust, so we'll try to avoid that. The graveyard. Holy rear ends. I can tell this one's already been inventoried. So received, unloaded, and our inventory has already gone through it, created their checklist of what are we doing with this car. A newer GTI right here. <laughs> Here's a great example of what happens with a truck where we sell the bed and the cuts and everything off of it. Look how many parts are removed off that vehicle now. Wow. Yeah. Rear end's gone, no suspension except the leaf springs. The frame's still there, and the B pillar on the other side. Great, look at this BRZ right here. Oh my. That's great. Someone in Texas sold that carrier, right? A guy in one of those pickup trucks is going to have a paper telling him to come to this row, find this car, find that part match it grab it put the new inventory tag on it put it in his truck and then take it back into cody so that they can clean it and put it on a pallet huh. what was going through my head right here is how they have everything calculated a guy coming out to get the part bring it back package it all to remain profitable everything's calculated it's a logistical masterpiece and from someone who's interested in business to be able to streamline something like this and take something as it's just impossible to organize to a certain extent wrecked vehicles and they've done an amazing job with that and it's cool to see how they operate and how they make it all happen. up on one of the guys who pulls parts off the vehicles they have to move pretty quickly they come out with some notes they get the part they need and then they take it back it's clean <laughs> he's after a knee and an axle shaft on this order stock number location that's how he knows exactly where he's going what he's looking for left right on all the above For the most part, other than it being absolutely huge, you've kind of seen everything. I wish I could show you everything, but that's a general idea so you can see what's going on. They have like basically every kind of car. Heading back inside, this is the area where all the mechanics pull everything apart, dismantle it, send it off, get it clean, and have it organized. Head to the left side. All the headlights, tail lights right here get buffed, put in a package, safely put together. They have their part number on it, and that's the end of their life right there before it gets sent to whoever buys it. Jason's got an iPad that a photo was taken of a bumper in this little photo booth right here. That way before you buy a bumper from them you can see what it looks like, if there's any blemishes, what color it is and such like that. It all gets documented and then packaged and then there's bumpers for days available. As he grabs these, he takes where he's going to put it. He'll scan it through that location. 
headed back to the front of the warehouse, we're gonna go to where they dismantle the cars when they first get them, remove the engine, transmission, subframes, all the major components that they know are in high demand and they can get going right away as far as inventory, getting ready for customers. All of these guys have these carts that collect oil, fluids, anything, and they just leave all these bolts just full of them. It's a little detail I had to get up close on that I thought was interesting. They're just flying through bolts, taking these things off, cutting things, getting all the tires off of rims and such like that, getting those things ready to be put on the shelves in case someone needs some OEM wheels. Here's a Prius getting taken apart. That was obviously in a crash. All of the parts in these bins are cores. They're gonna get sent off, get remanufactured, and eventually resold. This is one of the few times where it's something close to a video game in real life where you have all these engines in front of you. You can just pick and choose which one you want, get a feel for them, look around. Some video game type stuff in real life. Super cool, I had to take a look around. There it is. And it is out of the 2008 Cayenne. See right here? There's one. There's another one. There's the six cylinder right here. <laughs> Stock number is supposed to be written on it in a few different spots and it should always match the internal thing. Now that we've gone over the whole process, you know where the engines come from, you know where the parts come from. Now what did we take home to put in our 240SX? A 5.3 liter Vortec engine out of a Tahoe 2004, your classic budget friendly horsepower maker, reliable, comfortable. We're going to do a solid series on how to rebuild one of these things, give you the tools, the resources, the knowledge, the mindset you need to get it done. Randall and I are excited to get after it and go over this with you guys. Let's get back to the house, take this home in Randall's truck take a look at it up close and then talk about it. What'd you say? Uh, parts department. Organization is key, boys. This is this is the one. This, this is, is a little extreme, but this is just to ease out my OCD. So <laughs> this is, is the way. All right, Randall, this LS is all you. What's the plans here? What are you thinking about now that we got it in here? I I, I got my hands all over the Subi stuff. This this is all you now. Ripping this thing out. Get this piece of plastic out of here. Strip it down. Clean it up. Get it bored out. And Board out? What does that mean? More room for bigger pistons. You, you told me we were going to run this motor tight or loose? Or we're what? running it loose. Why, what does that mean? Loose as in there's going to be pretty big gaps on the piston rings to allow blow-by. Why do we need blow-by? When you uh, add some PSI, aka boost to the motor, you don't want that stuff. Sending rods out the side of your block, so you want that excess air to be able to go somewhere. which then leads to excessive uh, oil being shot out of your valve covers. So that's just another modification that we got to add on. If you're thinking about something you want to get from LKQ or see if they have it, I have some information down in the description. If you like building confidence in the garage, check out karmaspeed.com. This is the brand I created for us as car people to have the resources, information, content to help you get the projects done that you want to get done. We're doing one car at a time here and we're tackling new things every day, including finding something as simple as a junkyard motor. So if you like that idea, you want to support it, follow Karma Speed on Instagram so you know when new things come out. Check out karmaspeed.com for apparel and resources and then come back to this channel and see what we have going on so you can learn and build confidence in the garage. Thank you guys so much for your time. I'll see you in the next episode.